hi, welcome to Taco Tarts. It's been a long time. But me and good old Ted down at uh, Thorpe Lee Fishery. Um, made a long trip down just to see him really. No one knew about coming here. And uh, I had two yesterday. We got down late, late in the evening. Didn't really get to sit up properly till late. I had two up to 22 yesterday. And uh, just had a double run. I was just about to show you the. Uh, the linear that you've just seen me uh, play in on the map and uh, the other rod sword on so hopefully we'll be able to get them both in alright there we are there's the linear that I had They're about 14 pounds something like that and uh, also I landed that other one I just slip that one straight back. Nice fish. That one was probably about 18. But uh, yeah, we're doing doing really well at the moment. Obviously, the fish have just got on the feed this morning, put the rods out, put about 15 spawns on my area. And I changed my rigs over to solid bags this morning. Um, from I was fishing leg clips, changed them to solid bags because it was quite weedy. I just wanted to make sure my bait was presentable. Um, and this one was on a yellow 10 mil PB pop up. The other one was on a little pink peril wafter. So I'll uh, slip them back and uh, see if I can't get any more. Get some more spawns out in the area and then flip the rods on top. There we go, £22.4. Just uh, put my rod back out. I only managed to get one rod back on the spot. About 10 more spawns over the top. And it whizzed off. Uh, this one was on the uh, on the pink peril again. Uh, just fishing PB pop up in a pink peril. It doesn't really matter what goes off. They're both going off at the moment. so. I was going to change to the one that went off more, but they're both going off, so it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Um, we'll get him slipped back, and in a bit I'll uh, show you a bit of spotting, show you a bit of rigs and stuff like that. But for now I'm going to try and uh, get two rods in the water, and uh, see if I can get some spare rigs tied up in the meantime. close to 20 pound it's not um, and then I've got one on here which uh, I got with a rod in it went through me with a rod so uh, managed to sort of, sort of mess and weed and find out where my line was going um, so I've bit the rig off with the fishing in the net um, and then took the rod back up to the bivvy got some pre-tied solid bags and uh, tied one of those on clipped it up cast it back on the spot I was just feel, uh, I just put the fourth spawn of bait on the spot and uh, the tore off when the spawn was halfway in. So hopefully we'll get it in. And eventually we'll get around to showing you what we're doing. Take. This one was 20 pound on the money. Um, 
the other one. Uh, it's mid, mid double. Both nice fish, nice scaly ones. Uh, I can't remember what I had them on now. I think I had them both on pink perils these two. I had solid bags pre tied and I just chucked them out with whatever they had on. <laughs> Doesn't seem to matter as long as it's bright. Over the top of the spot mix, it seems to be going. So we'll uh, slip these two back and hopefully have a few more. If not, we'll manage to show you some of the tactics that we've been doing. Well, 26 8. Couldn't have asked them much better. As usual, I've caught the biggest fish and Andy's caught the most. Uh, nailed on a uh, stiff rig on a fruity delicious pop up. Twenty-four four. There we are, my biggest one. Twenty-four pound. I had one just under twenty as well. Absolutely hauling. She's uh, very lively. So we're going to slip her back straight away and get the rods back out. Oh, my tenth fish. Now even Stevens with Andy. Twenty-one. This one and five twenties. Also fifth fish while spumming. So. So you track some. Right, well, it's the last morning. I'm slowly packing up. As I promised, I'm just going to show you the spot mix. So, in here, we've got hemp seed, we've got SM pellets, a bit of corn, only like a can per sort of five kilo mix. Because I, I found that the fish weren't actually picking up yellow very much. I couldn't get bites on yellow pop ups for as often as I could get bites on pink and orange. So, uh, I cut down on the yellow uh, just to make it less plate on the bottom. We've got Nuts of boilies in there, they're both chopped and whole. And um, on top of all that, we put a bit of hemp oil, got a bit of chilli hemp oil on it at the moment. Um, just gives a bit, a bit of a slick, obviously the oil rises up in the water column. And the fish were quite evident on the surface earlier on. So um, obviously it's gone cloudy now, when we first got here they were very, very much on the surface. In fact I had them going on floaters, but I never managed to catch one. Um, and this drew them down a little bit better with the oil coming up off it. So the fish knew where the bait was. Um, I've had quite a few fish while spawning. Uh, I've only had two, but Ted's had five or six. Um, and it's obviously attracts them in. Obviously, the sound of the spawn's like a dinner bell on here. There's a lot of fishing, and they all want food. So uh, yeah, that's uh, what we've been using on here. So if you're coming down, then something similar to that, I'm sure you'll get uh, similar results as to what we, we have had. Well, as I promised, here's one of the rigs that we've been using. Uh, Ben started using this, just a little uh, little pop-up presentation. And uh, after him having a few fish and me couldn't be bothered tying solid bags anymore, like I've tied so many this uh, this weekend, I thought I'd give it a try because it's a little bit easier because you've just been casting it out as a single up bait and it settles really nice on top of the weed. So what you do is you put a 40mm pop-up on and I've got a number one shot on there and that's not quite heavy enough to take a whole 40 mm down. So just trimming the sides off, you take it down really, really slowly settle on top of any uh, of the blank units over our swim. Um, that's just on a section of soft coated braid, a size 6 one, a little line along the sleeve. I'm not really caught the system this time, they catch on leg clips as well. I've caught the inlines in the solid bags. But um, pretty much all of my fish, bar probably three, have been on the pinks. Um, I had a couple on yellow to begin with. But yeah, all, that, all, all, all of my fish have been on pink. Ben, ben tend to catch on orange to be fair. Um, just seems to be this, this band of weed, obviously, the carp one side of it like orange, the other side like pink. Which is quite strange, but you never know You never know what's going to work for you on the day, so make sure you bring in the rear pop-ups. If you're ever coming down to Lock Lane, and hopefully, we'll have quite a few like we have done. So we'll carry on fishing for now, see if we can get another one to finish the photo. Right, well that's the end of the session at Thorpley. Just winding my last rod in. Um, it's been a bit of a struggle today, not had anything. I uh, don't know why, the fish just got off the feed, so... Uh, 
but we've had plenty of fish. Sorry, it's been a bit of a just fish after fish after fish because that's literally what it was yesterday. So, um, 